Hello everyone, myself Sai Prasad, Alexa in Aklabath High School and the Junior College. Welcome to the series of the lectures of Intermediate First Year Maths B. We have started our discussion with DCs and DRs in our last session. We solved a few problems on how to find the DCs. Let us solve one more problem on how to find DCs when LMN are related with these two equations. Okay, let's do now. Let us uh, take this as equation 1 and equation 2. Then, how? what do we do? What did we did in the last session? I mean, last problem. That is, we'll take L is equal to minus M minus N. Or else, let us take it as minus of M plus N and substitute in equation 2. Okay, which is MN minus 2 into minus of m plus n minus 2 minus of m plus n into m equal to 0. Okay. Now, let us multiply this mn minus minus into minus plus 2 mn plus 2 n square again minus to minus plus 2 m square plus 2 mn. Clear? Let us write it in equation form. That will become 2m square plus 5mn plus 2n square. Can we factorize it? We can do right. That is 2 to the 4, 2m square, that is 4mn plus mn plus 2n square equal to 0. If I take 2m common here, I will get it as m plus 2n. If I take n as common, I will get it as m plus 2n. Isn't it? Now, I will take m plus 2n as common. Here, 2m plus n equal to 0. Therefore, I will get it as either m plus 2n equal to 0 or 2m plus n is equal to 0. Therefore, m is minus 2n here, m is minus n by 2 here. Right? Again, I got two cases right. The same thing which we did in the last problem. The case 1 is, case 1 will be m equal to minus 2n. Case 2 will be m equal to minus n by 2. Clear? Now, let us substitute the value of m in this. What it will become? L is equal to minus of m plus n minus 2n plus n. Here, L is equal to minus of m plus n. Say here, n minus 2n is minus n. Therefore, it becomes L equal to n. Isn't it? Here, L is equal to full minus half that is 1 by 2 I mean n by 2 therefore that will become L is equal to minus n by 2. Is it right? What is the next step? We will find DRs that is L is to M is to N. What is L? N. What is M? Minus 2 N. N will be as it is. If I cancel N that will become 1 is to minus 2 is to 1. Therefore, what are DRs now? DRs are 1 comma minus 2 comma 1. Isn't it easy? Right. Here, L is to M is to N will be minus N by 2 is to here also minus N by 2 is to N. If I take uh, 2 LCM and send that side, that will become minus 1 is to minus 1 is to 2. Right. Whenever you find such kind of thing, there are two negative terms and one positive term. It's better we'll write as one negative term and remaining two as positive terms. Only thing we have to apply minus one three terms. How can we apply? Everything is ratio, right? Whatever we multiply, it will be satisfied to all the conditions. Clear? Done. Therefore, DRs here are. 1 comma 1 comma minus 2. Okay. The next we have to find the value of normal value that is r. 1 square plus minus 2 whole square plus 1 square that is 1 plus 4 plus 1 which is root 6. 
clear fine here r is equal to under root 1 plus 1 plus 4 here also root 6 then what are the dc's here dc's are 1 by root 6 minus 2 by root 6 1 by root 6 here dc's are 1 by root 6 1 by root 6 minus 2 by root 6 clear is it not easy uh, both the questions are similar right fine let us move on to the next question uh, of a uh, similar kind see here the question given here it is he is asking us to find the angle between the lines whose dc is satisfy these equations that is what is that we have to do first of all we have to find the dc's right then how do we find the angle between two lines right that is in order to find the angle between two lines we have a formula that is l1 l2 plus m1 m2 plus n1 n2 right let us use this formula from now okay fine the first step what we have to do the same thing it repeats this is the third question we are doing we have to find the values of l m n that is we have to find the dc's shall we now see here that is this is the first equation and this is the second equation from 1 we will get l is equal to minus m minus n we will substitute in the value of l square plus m square minus n square that is minus of m plus n let us substitute it from 2 minus of m plus n whole square plus m square minus n square is equal to 0 minus ka square will be plus here it is m plus n whole square that is m square plus n square plus 2 m n plus m square minus n square is equal to 0 n square n square will get cancelled I will get it as 2 m square plus 2 m n equal to 0 is it right can I take 2 m as common here if I take 2 m as common that will become m plus n is equal to 0 either 2 m is equal to 0 or m plus n is equal to 0 then I will get the value of m as 0 and m is minus n isn't it right now let us find the value of l and m we will separate it if m is equal to 0 what is the value of l l is minus of 0 plus n that is l is minus n now let us write what is l is 2 m is 2 n l is minus n m is 0 n is and therefore this will become minus 1 is to 0 is to 1 that will be 0 therefore I will get the value of L is to M is to N as 0 is to what is M minus N is to N that is equal to 0 is to minus 1 is to 1 is it right now let us find the values of DRs therefore DRs are what are this minus 1 0 and 1 minus 1 0 1 here for the second condition drs are drs are 0 minus 1 1 therefore what are dc's tell me minus 1 by root 2 0 comma 1 by root 2 here dc's are 0 minus 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 how did we get root 2 here that is minus 1 square plus 1 square that is 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 0 is root 2 is it right fine then these are l1 l1 m1 m1 these are l2 m2 n2 then what is the value of cos theta that is l1 l2 plus m1 m2 plus n1 n2 is it right now let us substitute the values here what is l1 minus 1 by root 2 what is l2 0 what is m1 0 what is m2 minus 1 by root 2 what is n1 1 by root 2 what is n2 1 by root 2 is it right if you look here this will be 0 0 and this will be 1 by 2 when do we get 1 by 2 in cos tell me that is cos pi by 3 therefore the angle between the lines is 60 degrees clear shall we move on to the next problem let's do
Now see here the question given here it is show that the lines whose DCs are given by L plus M plus N equal to 0, 2L, 2MN plus TNL minus 5LM equal to 0 are perpendicular to each other. Right? How do we find? First of all we have to find the value of cos theta. That cos theta must be theta must be 90 degrees which means cos theta must be 0 which is nothing but L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2 must be 0. Is it right? In order to do that what we have to do? We have to find the values of L, M and M. Shall we do? Right. Now see here this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Let us solve it. From 1 what do we get? L is equal to minus M minus N. Shall we substitute in the second equation? See here there is a kind of tricky question and which is very important. 2MN plus 3N minus M minus L minus 5 into minus M minus N into M is equal to 0. That is 2MN minus 3MN minus 3N square. Here minus, minus to minus plus 5M square minus to minus plus 5MN equal to 0. If we observe 5M square, check for the two uh, MN terms. 5 minus 3 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4 m n minus 3 n square equal to 0. Is there any chance of factorizing it? Check it. 5, 3, 15. Do we have any factors which we get the 4? No, right? So, let us take n square as common. Then I can write it as m by n whole square plus 4 m by n minus 3 equal to 0. Isn't it? Can I take n square common here or else let me divide n square on both the sides. Can't I get this? Right? Fine. If I have this, can I find the product of roots? Isn't it? If m1 by n1 and m2 by n2 are roots of let us assume this as equation 3 then what is product of roots product of roots is what is it c by a isn't it that is m1 by n1 into m2 by n2 is equal to what is constant here minus 3 what is a 5 isn't it now let me write it as m1 m2 by minus 3 that is equal to n1 n2 by 5. Can I write it like this? Let me take it as equation 4. Is it clear? Now let me take one more condition that is here I have substituted L equal to minus m minus n. Let me substitute let me substitute m is equal to minus l minus n. Can I? Now let us do that. That will be Instead of m, let us substitute minus l minus n, 3nl minus 5l into minus l minus n equal to 0. Let us solve minus 2ln minus 2n square plus 3nl minus 2 minus plus 5l square minus 2 minus plus 5ln. Is it right? Now write everything together, 5l square, check for ln. 5ln minus 3l. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6ln minus 2n square. Can we factorize it? 5 2s are 10. No, right? Again, let us stay, let us divide the whole thing by n square. That will become 5 into l by n whole square plus 6 l by n minus 2 is equal to 0. Let us assume this to be equation 5. Okay. Then what will be the roots here? If L1 by N1 and L2 by N2 are roots of equation 5, that will become product of roots. What will be? L1 by N1 into L2 by N2 is equal to C by A, that is minus 2 by 5. Therefore, this will be, therefore, this will be L1 L2 by minus 2 is equal to N1 N2 by 5. 
this is equation 6 ok. If you observe from 4 and 5 this n1 into by 5 n1 into by 5 both are same right. Let us equate both of them therefore from 4 and 5 what is it L1 L2 by minus 2 is equal to m1 m2 by minus 3 is equal to n1 n2 by 5 is it right 3 are equal is not it let us equate it to k some constant ok then what will the value of l1 l2 l1 l2 will be minus 2 k m1 m2 will be minus 3 k n1 n2 will be 5 k then what is the value of cos theta tell me L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2 that is equal to lay I have to add these both these three things that is minus 2k minus 3k plus 5k minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5k plus 5k which is nothing but we will get cos theta is 0 therefore theta is 90 degrees is it clear? Did you understand? Once again, this is one more typical kind of question. Let us see here. Show that the lines whose DCs are given by those two equations are perpendicular to each other. Which means, first of all, we have to find DCs. Then we have equated to in the formula of cos theta. Then we should get it as 0 because cos 90 is 0. Clear? Now see here. From first equation, I have taken L is equal to minus M minus N. I have substituted in the second equation. Then I could find the relationship between m1, m2 and n1, n2. Clear? The next, I have taken m is equal to minus l minus n. I have substituted in equation 2. Then, I could find the relationship between l1, l2 and n1, n2. Right? Unfortunately, we got it as, I mean, fortunately, we got it as 4 and 5. I mean, 4 and 6 are n1 by n1, n2 by 5, both are equally. Therefore, we can write the relation as L1 L2 by minus 2, M1 M2 by minus 3, M1 N2 by 5 is equal to K, right. From that, I have uh, assumed it to be K, then I have equated to minus 2K, minus 3K and 5K, then I have substituted in the formula of cos theta. Is it clear? Fine. These are uh, few more problems of uh, DC and DS. Let us meet in the next session with uh, few more methods of uh, DC and DS. Okay. Thank you.